for billions of years, a tiny war has raged right under our noses. This war against bacteria is being fought by the single most deadly and abundant entity on our planet, the bacteriophage. Before the discovery of antibiotics, a simple bacterial infection could kill you. But since we discovered penicillin, humans thought we had control over these tiny bacterial invaders. Recently, we realized that we underestimated bacteria. The overuse of antibiotics has selected for multi-drug resistant bacteria, meaning we can no longer rely on our antibiotics to treat difficult infections. Growing antimicrobial resistance has prompted scientists to look for alternatives to antibiotics. Bacteriophages, otherwise known as phages, are a promising response. Phages were discovered over a hundred years ago, before the age of antibiotics. Bacteriophages are bacteria-killing viruses that showed potential for treating infection. But after antibiotics were discovered, they were mostly pushed aside and forgotten, until now. Bacteriophages are such strange entities that they could be straight out of a sci-fi movie. They essentially look like alien spaceships, with a head containing their genetic information and tail fibers which recognize receptors on their target bacteria. They're one of the deadliest entities on Earth, but don't let this frighten you. They're on your side. Phages only target very specific bacterial cells, and not human cells at all. How do they do this, you may ask? They drift around until they bump into a bacterial cell. They then use their tail fibers to identify very specific receptors, and if they find their receptor, they're able to inject their genetic material into that bacterial cell. They then hijack the bacterial cell's machinery to build new phages. When the bacteria is full of new phages, the phages release a toxin to blow up the bacteria, and then they move on to a new target. Researchers have recently been looking into what happens when you inject millions of phages into a person with a bacterial infection. We need to do this because we humans have really messed up. Our overuse of antibiotics has created superbugs, which we can no longer control. By 2050, superbugs may kill more humans than cancer. How could injecting millions of viruses into your body be a good idea? Well, since phages are so specific to their bacterial host, they only harm their target and not human cells or the good bacteria that live in your body. They act like a guided missile for the nasty bacteria, while antibiotics, on the other hand, they harm everything in sight. You may be asking yourself, aren't bacteria just going to become immune to phages too? Well, bacteriophages have been evolving alongside bacteria for billions of years, and they've been doing a pretty great job at killing them so far. They can be used in mixtures known as cocktails or with antibiotics. So far, phages are our best hope to beat the superbugs. For a bacteria to become immune to something, it has to change the structures on its cell surface. But the bacteria needs these structures to survive. It can only take away so many things before it dies. So if we hit the bacteria with a combination of attacks, they don't stand a chance. Phage therapy can be administered using a needle, or it can be applied directly to a bacterial skin infection using a cream or a gel. If the infection is in the lungs, the phage would need to be aerosolized. There have been clinical trials with phages, and the FDA has approved phages for human consumption in the food industry. Despite these advances, there is still more research to be done and hurdles to overcome before phages become part of mainstream medicine. One of these hurdles being public acceptance. Viruses have a bad reputation, but bacteriophages, they're here to help. It may seem strange, but injecting the deadliest entity on the planet into your body may be the thing that saves us all from the wrath of superbugs. <laughs>